What's going on riders? How, uh, it's another ride home review. I know it's been a couple weeks since I've gone to a movie. Uh, last one being Star Wars The Last Jedi. Um, but yeah, uh, so this two, uh, I'm sorry, not a Tuesday, but this week I'm talking about uh, The Shape of Water. Um, uh, directed by Guillermo del Toro, who you may know from Pacific Rim or Pan's Labyrinth. Uh, and star Sally Hawkins, Octavia Spencer, uh, Richard Jenkins, and Michael Shannon. Those are the the main folks. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to me on YouTube, like me on Facebook, follow on Instagram uh, for more uh, ride home reviews. Uh, but basically, the premise of the film is well it takes place in the early 60s and the United States government finds a creature of some sort to help with their space program um, however it piques the interest of a mute girl um, named Eliza and um, she forms this bond and of course, since it's United States property, um, then yeah, that doesn't go over so well. What I liked about this film was, number one, I'm a sucker for an original story. I mean, I know that this has a Beauty, of the Be Beauty and the Beast feel to it, but it was really not something you've ever really seen before. It's like a mixture of Beauty and the Beast and Creature from the Black Lagoon. Um, and it has that feel throughout the film. You know that you're in this time period. Every piece of medium, every, every, the entire production design, the uh, costume, it's just fabulous. You are transported back in time. The music, uh, marvelous. Uh, this film is really, really good. Um, um, and, and I really like that. And the performances of uh, Sally, G uh, excuse me, Sally Hawkins, she is basically mute. She plays a mute girl, and so she has to convey that through sign and her emotions, and she does a marvelous job. And Richard Jenkins, I think this is probably his best role to date. Uh, I thought he was absolutely fabulous um, in this film. Uh, and so, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was well done. Uh, I, I really liked the cinematography um, and the story. The story was great. It's, a, it's not what you expect um, from this film. Um, you hear about it, but to see it is another thing. And I highly recommend people see this. Um, you may not necessarily need to see it in the theater to get the gist and the concept of it. However, um, it's just, they just did a marvelous job top to bottom. What I, the only thing I really didn't like, which is very little, um, uh, is there was a little bit of slowdown in act two. Um, it was rolling around at a good pace and it just kind of lumbered, but that was you know they were trying to develop the the relationship between her and the creature um and so her as being eliza sally hawkins character eliza sally hawkins character um so there you have it. what to watch for i mean thematically there's so much going on with green and the future and water just water in general so watch for that um that's that's pretty pretty spectacular the way they wove those thematic elements all throughout the film in different ways and how diff how the different characters re uh, dealt with water um, and each other so there you have it the shape of water I really enjoyed the film I thought it was well done it's a great start to 2018 for the films uh, of this this coming year so there you have it like I said don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube ride home reviews like us on Facebook follow me on Instagram until next week watch something cool see you next time